depending on who, whomever it is that you ask. It's not specific. It's not, it, it it's doesn't, not a specific it did, The issue. great thing about Hello there, you're watching Press TV News. We're interrupting our regular programming to bring you live coverage of an expected prisoner swap between Hezbollah and Israel, which we are hearing may happen anytime within the next uh, one hour. The exchange is to happen nearly two years after the two sides fought a month-long war. In return for releasing five men, Israel will recover two of its soldiers captured in a 2006 cross-border raid that triggered the 33-day war with Hezbollah resistance movements. Israel then entered indirect talks to retrieve, them, uh, retrieve the, the captured soldiers. Eldad Regev and Ehud Goldwasser, uh, who were both military reservists. Uh, they were patrolling Israel's northern border into armored jeeps, uh, and then they were ambushed by Hezbollah. Uh, and this happened on July 12, 2006. An Israeli negotiator has said a German-mediated prisoner swap will probably uh, go ahead, and you can see uh, live images uh, from there, um, uh, from Tel Aviv, and we're expecting the, the deal to go ahead anytime within the next uh, 50 minutes to one hour. Hezbollah leader Said Hassan Nasrallah said in June that the Lebanese prisoners would come home soon. Uh, however, he did not say if the two Israeli soldiers were, uh, the, the, the Israeli reservists were actually dead or alive. The Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert has said uh, they were probably dead. Now, topping the swap list is Samir Kontar, uh, the longest held Lebanese detainee. He was serving a life sentence in Israel. It's been nearly 30 years years since his capture. There you have it. Live scenes from Tel Aviv where we're expecting a prisoner swap between Israel and Hezbollah resistance movement to happen anytime within the next hour. The Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert had described Samir Kuntar as the last bargaining chip for any word on the fate of Israeli airman Ron Arad, who disappeared after bailing out during a bombing run on Lebanon in 1986. The other four Lebanese prisoners, Maher Karani, Mohammed Sroor, Hussein Suleiman, and Khod Zaydan were transferred from Ashmaret prison near the coastal city of Netanya, where they have been held since their capture in uh, the 2006 Lebanon war, which lasted 33 or 34 days and was widely perceived as a victory for Hezbollah. Under the deal, the prisoner swap deal, Israel will also hand over the bodies of uh, 200 Arabs killed in clashes with Israel. And Hezbollah is expected to return the remains of Israeli soldiers killed in South Lebanon in 2006. We'll st we're still not sure if the two Israeli reservists are dead or alive. Now you have it, live scenes from Tel Aviv. A prisoner swap deal between Hezbollah and Israel is apparently going through. This is happening in northern Tel Aviv. Now to give you a little background on other prisoner swaps uh, that have happened between Hezbollah and Israel. In 2004, Hezbollah and Israel exchanged the bodies of three Israeli soldiers who were captured in 2000 and a kidnapped Israeli businessman for uh, 400 Palestinian and 23 Lebanese and other prisoners in another deal which was also mediated by Germany. Live scenes from Tel Aviv, an expected 
prisoner swap between Israel and Hezbollah resistance movement, which uh, is happening or is about to happen in northern Tel Aviv. We have been receiving a live video feed within the past hour, and we're expecting the swap to happen anytime within the next few minutes. It's been nearly two years after Israel and Hezbollah resistance movement fought a 33-day war. The war was widely perceived as a victory for Hezbollah resistance movement and a defeat for Israel. And the Israeli government was the might of the Israeli government, the military might of the Israeli government was really uh, questioned by a lot of people in the region. Now in return for the release of five men, Israel will recover two of its soldiers who were captured in a 2006 cross-border raid that triggered the 33-day war with Hezbollah. There you can see vehicles moving about. We're not sure if, if that, that is actually the prisoner swap which is happening. It might as well be the swap going through between Hezbollah and Israel. Scenes from northern Tel Aviv. Two Israeli soldiers who were not sure if they're dead or alive were to be swapped with a number of That's right. This is the Hadarian prison in northern Tel Aviv. Live video from northern Tel Aviv, the Hadarian prison. The Hadarian prison in northern Tel Aviv. Now this is happening following indirect talks to retrieve the two Israeli reservists Eldad Regev and Ehud Goldwasser, both military reservists. Well, this has been a live coverage of a prisoner swap between Hezbollah resistance movement and Israel, uh, brought to you by Press TV. Uh, we'll bring you further details as soon as we get them. Meanwhile, please stay tuned for a full bulletin of uh, Press TV News, which will be coming your way within about 17 minutes. Thank you for watching.